Hey there traders, this is Steve Miley, the market chartist for FX Explained and our regular weekly macro watch update. So this week we're looking at the general risk on theme continues as lockdown easing begins for the week commencing the 11th of May. Let's kick off by taking a look at the macroeconomic and geopolitical developments over the past week. While lockdowns continue to be eased in here across Europe, and also in some United States states in here. And that is certainly seeing markets react more positively from that, alongside the fact that the spread of and deaths from COVID-19, the coronavirus in here, the number of deaths, the number of cases is starting to fall globally, starting to fall in many nations. And also we're seeing a plateauing even where it's not starting to particularly aggressively fall. So certainly positive um, results from global lockdowns with respect to the spread of and the number of deaths. And that is encouraging um, on the macroeconomic side. However, the macroeconomic data is not good. Clearly, uh, markets now starting to be um, to see it. Um, the data coming through in here from March and April. And this was a disastrous employment report in here from the US. Unemployment rate of 14.7% and the non-farm payroll number 20.5 million jobs lost for April. Um, elsewhere, though, we are seeing more of um, the data in here starting to actually, in some instances, beat expectations. Uh, the Purchasing Managers Index data, some of the data last week, slightly more encouraging. And on the global financial market development front, well, what's really happened is here we've been very much in risk on theme. The negative data has very much been discounted into the market. The fact that we're coming out of lockdown, the fact that the number of cases is plateauing, the number of deaths are as falling globally in Europe, in the US, as being taken as a positive. And the fact we're coming out of lockdown, seeing riskier assets rallying in here. So the risk on theme, seeing the S&P 500 here and global equity indices, the European, Asian and US equity indices, pushing that back up to the highs that we saw back at the end of April, having remember had a really strong April in here. Um, some markets in here posting their best month for decades, certainly for multiple years in here. So we're seeing a really strong follow through. Having had that dip at the very end of April, beginning of May, we're seeing a recovery effort in here as we've gone into the beginning of the month. And then we've also seen oil started to stabilize and rebound in here, a more positive tone for oil, having had that disastrous plunge lower um, in the latter part of April. On the FX side, the risk currencies, the Australian dollar, the New Zealand dollar, the Canadian dollar, all doing better in here. Again, had strong ends to April, little dips at the beginning of May, but then recovering in here um, towards the end of the past week in here. Australian dollar here pushing back up to that late April peak and continuing the recovery theme that we've seen through March. Similar story in here for the New Zealand and for the Canadian dollar, echoing the risk on sentiment that we're seeing from the stock markets. And also echoing that risk on theme in here, copper on the um, daily COMEX copper in here, hitting a new recovery high, breaking above that late April peak in here over the past week at the end of last week in here, a new cycle high, again, reflecting the risk on theme that we're seeing from equity and Forex markets. Let's now take a look into this week, week commencing the 11th of May. As ever, we're going to be concentrating on the COVID-19 global spread in here and also the continuation of the easing of lockdown measures that we're seeing across European nations and in some of the states in the US. So that's going to be important, monitoring the spread of COVID-19, the cases. And as we come out of lockdown, are we going to see this, this second wave that um, some of the scientists are fearing? On the macroeconomic data front, it's a fairly light calendar week in here. Nothing of note on Monday, Tuesday, we get US CPI, UK industrial production and GDP on Wednesday, the Australian employment report Thursday, German CPI and US jobless claims also on Thursday. And then we round off the week with um, some extra, some more data from China, industrial production and retail sales, German GDP, US retail sales and Michigan consumer sentiment. On the central bank side, it's fairly quiet in here. We do be have the RBNZ meeting on Wednesday and we do get Fed speakers in here throughout the week. I'm going to wish you all a great trading week. Have a great week out there, guys. Please do stay safe and I'll be back with you next week for another Macro Watch.
So traders, don't forget to catch us on the next FX Explained Macro Watch and all the great content on fxexplained.co.uk.